Morning everyone, it's a nice early one this morning. So uh, what I'm doing is uh, starting with the gardens. So we've got all these plants that I bought the other day, all the citrus and the uh, stone fruits, and we just need to start planting them. But I've got a ton of uh, manure left over from uh, what we spread the other week. And I've got a trailer full, so I've just got to uh, throw it in the gardens and uh, get it ready for planting. So I've already started putting the manure in these two garden beds here, or four garden beds. But what I'll also do is everywhere I plant or want to plant a tree, I'll go and put a couple of shovelfuls of the uh, fertilizer in each spot so we know where uh, they're going to go. Good for the roses. Nice and windy this morning. So with the citrus and the stone fruit, well, the citrus I'd like to run across here. So each of those panels there, which are about three and a half meters long. I'd like to plant a citrus in each one of those, along each one of those panels there. So uh, what I'll do is just put a, a heap of fertilizer in front of each one of those panels. And I've just got two more piles just here and here. So we're gonna put a citrus there and there. So the soil type we have here is sandy, loamy soil. <clears throat> really good for vineyards and grapes, but, uh, well, it's really good for drainage as well, obviously, but there's not much in it other than that. So there's no fertilizer, there's no organic matter, it's just sandy sort of stuff. So hopefully with the introduction of this fertilizer or the cow poo, uh, it'll give the, the citrus trees a really good head start. Well, it's another day and Charmaine's here to, what's the word we want to say? provide advice and guidance on where the stone fruit and citrus will be planted. Yeah. See, that does not have a green thumb. <laughs> no green I've thumbs here at plants, all. Go. We can grow grass. We've decided that, yep, yep, we're good at clover and rye grass. That's about it. So while Charmaine's dealing with the pooches, I'll go get the, uh, the post hole digger and the shovel. Okay, so we've got Charmaine on the job. She's deciding where the fruit trees and stone fruits are going. How many stone fruit do we have? We've got nine. Nine stone fruits. There's the chickens. And what do you think, two more down in there? Yeah. So I think I dug a hole right there. That one there. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. And that'll be a metre from the back fence. Yeah. Yeah. And then three... Mm -hmm. Three and a half meters, and we've got another one there. So I'll show you what we got. We've got a Williams pear. We have a nectarine. It's starting to 
flower now. Pretty little pink flowers. The Williams pear, I don't know. It looks dead. There's no buds or anything there. It's not dead, but it's still got green in it, but there's no flowers. And remember, this is the first time we've ever planted stone fruit or citrus. Now, I think that's apple and it's starting to get new shoots coming through. And then we've got over here, a flat style nectarine, okay. So two nectarines. Over here we have a, ooh, pink lady and red Fuji cross three-way apple. Uh, this one over here is plum. So what's that? Apple, plum, nectarine, and what's this one? I think that's, is that Granny Smith? Apples? This one here you got is a peach. This one is a flowering plum. So you don't eat the plums, they're just, it's just Looks pretty. pretty. Okay. Do you know what that one is? Elvin's flowering plum. No, I don't. I think it might be an apple. I'm sure it's a Granny Smith. Yeah. So where do you reckon we put these ones? I'm just thinking, just hear me out. Just in case we want to extend on the chook shed. Should we leave? Can we do the one, two, three, four in here? The zigzag. What do you think? There's a hole there, then they've got some rabbit or a snake. Abby. Um, a boa constrictor. So, is that far enough? Um, actually, bring it out to here. Okay. So, this is where your zigzag starts. Yeah. Yeah. So long as there's room, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Now we've got that citrus there. Where do you reckon that one goes? Uh, what's this? A lemon. Ooh. Another lemon? Back here. Or at the side? Oh yeah, we've got the water line to uh No the water line's right here, so we're way away from it. So if it's over here, over there somewhere. Yes. Or do you think up along the fence line? Two meters out from the fence. Because the tractor can come in through that gate around and then in through here. You want a clear line? Yeah. Well, should we put that along with the other two that we've got there in line with the front one? Okay. So we've got the first one at the front, then this one, and then obviously I have to move those bales. Um, I reckon bring it out this way because there could be a potential lean-to to mirror the other side. So yeah. Maybe even bring it out a metre towards me. No. Because that's still plenty of room. Look. But where's your water line? Oh, it's up there. It's from there and it goes from there down to there runs along the side of the house, side of the, it runs along the side of the shed. Sure. And where's your electricity line? Over there yeah. on the corner and it runs straight up there. Oh, 
I reckon this little one here comes across. So it's centered in the middle. Like it's not going to grow out to the here. No. Yeah. I'm just thinking if you're on your tractor and you want to be able to turn around for whatever reason. Yeah, we'll still be able to. Yeah. And you can still get through there. Yeah. Through this thing here. So where do you want this one? Through there. Well, in line with this one. Straight down. Perfect. And you want these ones here as well? Yeah. Very close together. Yeah, put them down further though. Oh, those spikes hurt, eh? Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. It seems weird having it there. It does, eh? Mm. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, I'd rather have this open. Yeah. Not a fan. Let's put them all down that side. What side? There. Down there, by the... And just leave all this open. Leave this open to fuck around with your equipment and your tractor. You're on, uh, Charmaine. Part of your book. My language has got a bit loose. I never swear. I... <laughs> I'm a good uh, Catholic boy. So the Minister for Agriculture and Finance and War and Peace has provided us with written authorization to go ahead and plant the citrus and stone fruit here on the farm. Um, she will be supervising behind the camera. She's behind the scenes. She's in it, you know, she's she does it all. Lucky the oven. <laughs> Rocco, does anyone want a cattle dog slash poodle <laughs> times two? Radio, <laughs> let's get him in the ground. First one is the Ooh, blood orange, yum. So we're gonna plant this one here so that when it gets a bit bigger, it's gonna provide shade to the chickens. Prime cow food, look at it.
You almost bent the spade there. Hey. You almost bent the spade. Oh, Like, it's all those cows that were here, you know, 60 years ago. Mm-hmm. Packed it at all. Good workout. You want to have a go, babe? No, thanks. Mm. <laughs> oh dear, you're digging down to the granite belt there. I don't know how much poo to put in, but... Mm, you don't want to burn the roots. Yeah. You filled it up too much now. It's a bit skew, love. She's skew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, but the stem at the bottom's alright. Okay. That's better. Yay! First trees in the ground. <laughs> Well, How many more to go? Huh? 20. <laughs> There's the guinea fowl telling us what they think of life. It's a beautiful evening for it. I know. Nice and cool. Letting you go, Morgan. You don't come back when I call you. You're trying to look for that cow. Yeah. I know, you finally got it going.
back, dude. Mm. It's amazing. <laughs> Kettled up. One, prune back. Two, remove tree from bag. Place tree in hole, then refill. Bake a tree, hold water. Pour water, 10 litres of water. <laughs> Until the end of spring. Chitty grub. Oh. That's a long grub. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. You have to put a stake in it. Tree number two in the ground. Do you think we need to go check on those sheep? Not ours. Oh, do we do have some. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Didn't you think that that one was having its babies? No, I had a look at her, she wasn't. Okay. Good boy, Rocco. Good boy. Morgan? So we've not got them too close together, have we? No. They're like three and a half metres apart. That's two and a half metres, that's two and a half metres, and that'll be two and a half.
someone who knows what they're doing, please help us. Comment. <laughs> Send help. SOS. <laughs> Is that it? it? Three trees and we're done. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow's Three. another day. Two. <laughs> oh well, you nearly finished that hole, aren't you? You're done. I think so. I did wonder if you'd bring back a bottle of wine for me, possibly. From the I said, I did wonder if you'd bring back a bottle of wine for me from the shops today. As if I'd remember that. <laughs> I can't remember the shit I have on a list. Oh no, which you have written down. All you have to do is read it. You should have told me my love. Oh, that's all right. I don't need it. It's dry July in there. <laughs> Dry July and August. It's almost September. Does that even have root? Yeah, like barely. <laughs> In there somewhere. Morgan? No. Sit. Tomorrow's another day. Hey, Rep Eggs. I will water these though. Yes. What are you doing, love? Just uh, watering my plants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where's that gate going to go? Is that the one they said needs 10 litres? Pardon? Is that the one they said needs 10 litres? Yeah, the, all the stone fruit. 
You're making your little mud patty. Yeah. <laughs> Just a big kid. Oh man, that's a toy. Oh. Good lordy. Is this plastic recyclable? Think of the future. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, love. See ya. <laughs>